Hello friends, how are you guys? Have dinner with me. We are having dinner in the car today um, because I have been running around doing back to school shopping for Sophia. I'm taking her school, I'm taking her like clothing shopping next week, but I didn't have time today or I didn't have time this week to um, have her come here and we can do like the school supply shopping. So I just got a list off the school website and um, I'm just gonna grab a few things for her and then we'll do the rest of the school shopping next week because I remember when I was growing up that was always really exciting to get a chance to go school shopping even though my mom was pretty frugal so <laughs> I ended up reusing a lot of the things that were reusable which I think is a very, very valid reason. Um, but it was always exciting to get, you know, like one or two new shirts for the school year or like a pair of new shoes when I could. Today we are having Chipotle. Very excited about today's meal because I can't tell you the last time I've had Chipotle. I think the last time will most likely be with you guys. As always, I get the same thing all the time. I get my salad bowl with half steak, half chicken, and brown rice, and mild um, without the sauce, and a little bit of spicy corn, and then I get more lettuce at the end. I didn't know what to eat, and I was like, oh, this would be the perfect time. Look, you guys. Ah! Looks so good. I also got a bag of chips. I did not get tortillas on the side because I'm just not craving it today. And then as always, a bunch of napkins for the car. And I have my water here. So, so excited to eat with you guys. I don't know why you guys feel kind of like close before. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know about this angle, y'all. I don't know, but let's eat together. I don't have my uh, car mount thingy with me. Mmm. The steak and chicken today marinated perfectly. Mm. I like to get my chips and I like to scoop all the good. So good. I cannot believe that Sophia's going into seventh grade. Like that is so crazy to me, you guys. When she came to the US in 2019, she was going into second grade and now she's going into seventh grade. Isn't that crazy? Mm -mm. This is so good. She's entering a new school as well. She's entering a middle school. I wasn't used to this information, but when I was growing up in York, Pennsylvania, we were like in a school district. So I went to York Suburban School District. If you guys live in York County, hello, holla. Why did I say holla? Oh my freaking God, cancel me. That was embarrassing. Um, but if you're from York County, hello, welcome. Please, please, please leave a comment down below. I cannot tell you how happy I get when I see comments and they're like, hi, I'm from York, PA. And I'm like, ugh. I miss it so much. I haven't been back to York, PA since December of 2016. So we're going on what? Six, seven years now? Mm-mm-mm. Mm. I love their pico de gallo, the, the mild tomato sauce. Awesome. 
there's something about it that's so good. Mm -mm. What I was saying was, I went to York Suburban School District. You, based on where you lived in your county, you were split into school districts. And I'm sure this is the same with a lot of places in the U.S. But I was at York Suburban School District. So in the district, there was, um, I believe, a preschool an elementary school why am i going blank god it's been so long there was an elementary school a middle school and a high school so like that was kind of like how you moved up and like went on with your education so i actually when i moved to york i went to a city school i went to uh dover i think it's called no it's called devers dover no dover is another school district i believe it was called devers city school was it Dever? Dever city school um yeah it was Dever's uh or blah, blah, blah. it was Dever's city school um and I went there for kindergarten and first grade and I remember we went there because I lived in the apartments literally down the road and then my mom uh bought her first house and I went to central york school district so I went to um, I went to Sinking Springs Elementary School, and then I went to North Hills Middle School for just sixth grade. And then my mom bought another house in a different school district, which is York Suburban. And I went there for seventh grade all the way up until I graduated high school. So I really only know of York Suburban Middle School, but... My middle school was 6th, 7th, and 8th. Sophia's middle school is only 7th and 8th. I did not know that schools do that. Let me know in the comments down below if your school does that, but I did not know that. I thought middle school was always 6th, 7th, and 8th, but I'm learning now Sophia's middle school is only 7th and 8th, so she'll be there for 7th grade and 8th grade, and then she's going to go to high school, which is so freaking weird. Are you freaking kidding me oh my god i just got the chills you're telling me in just two more years which is gonna fly by so freaking fast sophia's gonna be in high school you guys we're getting old time is flying by make the most of your life I'm sad now. Let me just cry a little bit. I that hit me like a brick. Um, yeah, so Sophia <laughs> She's going into high school in two years. What the heck? Mmm. But yeah, she's starting a new middle school, new friends, all new teachers. Everything's going to be a little bit more difficult. You guys know that. Like, I remember in, like, 7th, 8th grade, we were learning about chemistry. But, I think her best friend is going to the same middle school as her, so she's pretty excited about it. This bowl is so good. You know how sometimes Chipotle just kills it? Today's the day. Mm. But yeah. I got a list from the school. I'm going to go school shopping, like school supply shopping for her. 
And then next week, I'm going to take her like clothes shopping. I don't think I've ever talked about this, but so Sophia's mom, my sister, she works a lot, like a lot, a lot. So I always, um, I kind of help out and just keep an eye out on Sophia and just hang out with her. And, um, it's really important for me to like have a relationship with my niece because her mom does work a lot and, you know, they're, you know, it's been a few years, but they're still adjusting and, and creating a foundation in a new country. I mean, you guys can only imagine how difficult it is to leave a country that you've known your entire life to move to a place where you don't know the language, you don't know how things work, um, and you have to create a foundation. I mean, little things that for us might be easy, like getting a driver's license or you know, learning how to do taxes or simple things as scheduling doctor's appointments or um, things like that. Like it's a different country. Like I cannot, if my mom, if I had to like leave the US right now and move to Vietnam, even though I know the language, like the lifestyle would be different. So Carlos and I, we always make an effort to keep an eye out for Sophia and be there for her whenever um, she needs us. When Sophia started school in elementary school, Carlos really stepped up and was like kind of like a father figure for her. He picked her up from or he picked her up in the morning. Sometimes we get a breakfast. He would drive her to school and then in the afternoon he would either pick her up or I would pick her up. And homeboy <laughs> Carlos, honestly, I freaking love that man. I'm so grateful for him. He's such a good person. Carlos would wake up at like 6 in the morning every day for pretty much an entire school year. Until my sister could kind of get on her feet. And he would drop, and then we would help like drive to doctor's appointments and stuff. But they're settling in the U.S. nicely. But anyways, with that being said, that's what I was trying to say is that's why I'm very like um, present when it comes to like her school stuff. Every um, August we go school shopping. If she needs anything, she knows she can text me. I think being an aunt is probably one of my favorite things. Granted, I don't have kids right now, so it's a little bit easier to be present in their lives. But once I have my own kids, I still will care for my nieces and nephews. They're like my babies. My other niece, I just, I can't believe this. My other niece is turning eight next year, literally in a few months. Wild. I've always heard that as you get older, time flies by faster. And I think it's really true. I'm already third, I'm turning 31 in two months. It feels like yesterday I was 26, 27, buying a house. And now I'm 31. It's, it's, uh, It's weird to understand or like catch a break with time as you get older. Mm. I love making my bowls like this because I'm literally eating a salad.
I wonder if they're going to give her a laptop in middle school. I feel like I feel like my school year was like the last school year, right? Before people got laptops, like class of 2012. Oh my god, this is so good. She gave me really good scoops today. I don't know if Chipotle has been going through like drama. But their scoops have been good, right? I've seen it on TikTok. This is so good. The girl that made my bowl today nailed it. Mm -hmm. So good, friends. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Oh my god. The sunset. Crazy. Okay, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me for like 20 minutes. I'm going to go into the store and go home. Whew. I love you guys so much. Hang on, let me get a sip of water. That was a great dinner. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a comment. All that good stuff. Bye.